What's up guys, this is Derek from moreplatesmoredates.com and today I'm going to be talking to you quickly about how to store RU58841 mix solutions as well as how to store the raw powder. Uh, if you don't already know what RU58841 is, it's a non-steroidal experimental anti-androgen meant for topical treatment of androgenic alopecia, also known as male pattern baldness. Uh, if you haven't read my article or seen my videos, go check them out. Um, it basically elaborates on exactly what it is, what you can expect from it. As far as uh, the storage of this stuff, um, basically the colder the better to a degree because basically what this stuff is, uh, its longevity and uh, basically its potency is going to be determined almost entirely on how you store it. And basically, if you, uh, to prevent degradation of the compound, you need to ensure that it's stored out of any direct light and in a cold enough temperature. And there's only two really viable uh, places that your everyday household will have to do this, one being the freezer and one being the fridge. So even though RU can remain potent in room temperature for a while, I don't recommend it. I put all my mixed solutions into sealable bottles and then I put those bottles in the container, shut the container so light can't get in and then I put that in the fridge and my powder will always be in Ziplocs in the freezer. Um, I've actually noted as of recent that storing mixed solutions in the fridge is probably more ideal than the freezer as opposed to the powder being ideal in the freezer. I'll tell you why. So I used to recommend storing all RU58841 in the freezer, regardless if it was mixed or not. And the freezer will ultimately result in the greatest amount of longevity without degradation of the product. But the thing is with the mixed solutions, the freezer is cold enough that it can cause slight crystallization of the RU powder constituted in the ethanol and propylene glycol, making it so you have to let it sit in room temperature for a little bit and then lightly shake it to get a bit of the frozen particles back into suspension. So no crystallization occurs in the fridge though, and it's still cold enough to offset degradation to a very large degree, but it's not cold enough to cause crystallization of the powder in the solution basically. So this makes the, fr the fridge ideal for the storage of mixed solutions. Like the freezer is good for long-term, like it's not gonna be that much of a difference, difference between the fridge and the freezer for how long it's gonna last, but the annoyance of having to let your solution sit out in room temperature for like 10 to 15 minutes and then shake it lightly again after taking it out of the freezer each time can get a bit annoying. It's not guaranteed to happen, but I've had a few people note it before. It's never happened to me necessarily. Basically the fridge for is probably just the overall best option for mixed solutions in that regard. Regarding the powder though, as opposed to the solutions, the powder should always go in the freezer. I keep those in Ziplocs in a closed container and make sure no like water or any kind of liquid could get to it whatsoever. I keep a Ziploc in a Ziploc in a container. So basically that kind of sums it up. Honestly, this video wasn't meant to be really long, but I just wanted to let you guys know about the crystallization thing because I've had a few people say, hey, I'm noticing particles in my pre-mixed solutions. What do I do? I'm storing in the freezer, like you said. And yeah, in that case, I feel like you should probably keep your mixed solutions in the fridge. You're gonna be using it well before they degrade to a degree that would actually make a difference between the fridge and the freezer for longevity. So just keep the mixed solutions in the fridge. Powders always go in the freezer though. Keep that in mind, guys.